Songwriting is about your experiences and it expands your vocabulary in terms of the way you see the world. Music is something that people can connect with and feel an emotion. There was a few really cool underground spots where I would go and listen to jazz in Dubai and I'd see all these musicians and I'd be like, yeah, that's where I want to be at. I'm Ana Davis. I'm Daniel Rueda. Together, we are architects and photographers. Our approach is to play with perspectives and geometry within an urban landscape. And as architects, we travel the world exploring unseen aspects of buildings so we can tell stories to the image. We are on a journey to meet with other like-minded and inspiring creatives in Dubai. Here, we meet with Leila Karan, a bold new performer who is breaking perceptions of what it means to be a female singer in the Middle East. We first meet Leila in Dubai's old neighborhood of Al Fahiri. I think both of you being architects, you can appreciate that it's such a completely different architecture to what you typically see in Dubai. Yeah, yeah not many skyscrapers around here. <laughs> we were living in Australia and my father was really excited about the great opportunity in Dubai, so he moved us here. It was such a different world to what I'd seen, you know, growing up in Sydney, but it became, you know, a home for us. I have really beautiful memories as a child growing up in, in Dubai and got to learn a lot about the culture. You really feel the history and the heritage of the people when you come to the creek. Really interesting alleyways in these bazaars where you see spice markets, fabric merchants, sellers of antique jewelry, and all of that is a feast for the eyes. I like to reference traditional Middle Eastern instruments just because I, I love the sounds of them, but in a, in a subtle way, I like the oud more as a drum beat and warp it and distort it, but it's still there. It's a very clever way to make a, a very historical instrument, not to lost in the history and use it in a more contemporary way. I think yeah. it's fascinating, actually. Even though you feel you are in a, such a modern city, you know you are in Dubai, you are not in, in America or in Europe, because they always have this traditional touch in everything they do. At night, the whole city comes alive and we begin to understand how Dubai's music scene has become a crucial part of the nightlife here. In the last three years, there's live music all over town. Before, we would go to this one spot to watch jazz music, and now you can, in one night, I can name like seven or eight or even more places. Wanting to share more intimate side to the music scene, Leila invites us to an after party, where we meet the community of musicians that she collaborates with. Guys, this is a complete jam, so we don't even know what we're doing, sorry. And that's another thing I love about Dubai, is that I've got an incredible band of musicians from all over the world. Wherever you go in the world, it's important to see the culture and the music. I think it's the first thing that teaches us tolerance is when you understand a little bit about a person's culture and where they're from. Music is a very beautiful way to share a message. This time with Leila has given us the opportunity to see Dubai's strong artistic circle, allowing inspiration and vision among musicians to be shared through collaboration. An experience we won't forget in a music scene we were unaware of before coming. Yes, sir. Yeah.